Isaiah 53 verse 4. Surely he had bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Now, reading this passage, just this passage and verse, if you read in context, it's talking about the punishment that Jesus endured for us, for our sake. And, and if, if we read this in just the way it is, it, it sounds beautiful, but the intensity, the intensity of what Jesus did, we will not see, it, it, it will elude us. But let's try and, and check the original words in the Hebrew, this I, I promise you is going to be interesting. Okay, now the word surely, the word surely, it's it it's it's a word in the Hebrew called akin. Akin it means indeed. Now surely he, the the surely is is describing the intensity of the e. Surely akin. Is, is a strong ascending force showing that the he, he bore, surely he bore. That means there's, there's no distinction, it's, it's a strong personality force, no, no distinction that it's Christ that bore our punishment, our, our punishment, our iniquity upon him. And the word for punishment and the word for iniquity is, is the same. It's the same, and our rebellion, all our rebellion that, that man did um, in the Garden of Eden, that, that, that's the general, that's why we, we, we're suffering what we're suffering, that's why we're, we're suffering what we're suffering, and, and that's why Jesus needed to come, because of the rebellion of man at the Garden Eden. Now, now the, the punishment for that rebellion was Put upon Jesus. Okay, what's the punishment? If you want to understand what the punishment is, you need to read Isaiah 52, 14 and 15. He was beaten, bruised, and his figure was, was, was not like a human being anymore. That means all what we see in the movies, the first, first tribes, I've actually hear people say that it was flood 39 times. 39 times can't deform anybody. But, the, but it said he was, he was beaten. Not just the flogging, he was beaten, he was bruised. Bruised, one decisive blow, crushed. It, it, it's not just the flog, flogging, 39 stripes. It, it's not 39 stripes. Psalms actually said he was attacked by, by, by the, the, the reverend dog. Raging dogs. You know, if, if a dog is, is raging, he don't beat you one, beat you two, and go, he tears the person into pieces. Tears the person into pieces. From the skull to the, to the it's just bloodily messy. The Bible says he was beaten and his form was no longer like the form of a human being. Why was he beaten? It was the punishment, the avon, the punishment for the rebellion of man that he took on himself. Glory to God. He even gets interesting when you read Isaiah 53, 4 to, to, to 5. <laughs> he, gets, he even gets interesting because the punishment is actually uh, 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 the, the, the cause the cause of the rebellion, we will spiritualize it. When God told Adam that if you eat of this tree, you, you will surely die. Adam died a spiritual death. And the spiritual death now brought a physical judgment. So when he said he was bruised, that he was bruised, let me read it. Let me read it. Verse 3. 55, 53, verse 3. 
is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hide as it were our face from him. He was despised and we esteem him not. A man, see, see, God bless the, the translators of the King James. But when they use the word a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, it, it makes it look spiritual. It, it's not spiritual. The words actually physical words. He said he was pained in his physical body. And the sicknesses of men was on him. Your, your physical sickness and your physical pain that you feel in your body or you felt in your body all was laid in him as part of the punishment for rebellion. So what he did, he took, he took the avoir on him. He took our rebellion on him. He took our iniquity on him. Therefore, the punishment for the iniquity came on him too. That's why today we can say, by his plenty stripes, beating to, to formless, his, his eyes were, were dangling, his, his nose shifted, his, his mouth looking looking squeezed his jaw shifted his, his ears bleeding his forehead torn and, 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 and the crown of thorn was was placed on him tearing the skin part of his his, his, his skin was flapping his, his body beaten because he said he was murdered beaten bruised he, he doesn't look like a human being anymore. He looked like a monster. His, his esteem was, was not seen. All the things that God has said we happen, He took it upon Himself. He took our diseases. He took our sickness. Not spiritual sickness, physical sickness. Not spiritual pain, physical pain. He took all of these on his body. Then when he hung on the cross, when it was time for him to lay down his life, he shouted, it is finished. No more pain. No more sickness. Physical pains, physical sickness. No more infirmity. And above all, we've passed from death to life. No longer dead in sin. We are no longer old captive in sin. We are now living in the life of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Above, thank you, Holy Ghost, for bringing knowledge.